Let's shift our attention to Washington, D.C. India and the United States are holding a major bilateral engagement, the 2 plus 2 dialogue, a format where defense and foreign ministers from both sides meet. And that's happening later tonight. The defense and foreign ministers of India and the U.S. are meeting and talking. Just a few minutes ago, though, a virtual meeting took place. Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India spoke with U.S. President Joe Biden. As expected, the invasion of Ukraine dominated this conversation. Biden applauded India's assistance to Ukraine during the war. Before the talks, the White House had dropped a hint. The Biden administration wants to push India to take a stronger position against Russia. Well, Prime Minister Modi did not shy away from the topic. He set the record straight on India's position on Ukraine. This is what he said. मैंने यूक्रेन और रूस दोनों के राष्ट्रपतियों से कई बार फोन पर बातचीत की मैंने न सिर्फ शांति की अपील की बल्कि मैंने राष्ट्रपति पुतिन को यूक्रेन के राष्ट्रपति के साथ सीधी बातचीत का सुझाव भी रखा हमारी संसद भी संसद में भी यूक्रेन के विषय पर बहुत विचार विस्तार से चर्चा हुई हाल में बूचा शहर में निर्दोष नागरिकों की हत्याओं की खबर बहुत ही चिंताजनक थी हमने इसकी तुरंत निंदा की और एक निष्पक्ष जांच की मांग भी की है हम आशा करते हैं कि रूस और यूक्रेन के बीच चल रही बातचीत से शांति का मार्ग निकलेगा so that's India's position. An immediate ceasefire, direct talks between the presidents of Ukraine and Russia, and an independent probe into the killings in Bucha. There is more to India's position on Ukraine, though. New Delhi wants to use this dialogue with Washington, D.C. to bring up specific concerns. Our next report tells you more about India's agenda. To meet with our fellow Quad leaders and... Uh, it is not business as usual between India and the United States. The two partners have largely remained on the same page. But the invasion of Ukraine has led to some differences. Those differences were visible today. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi met with U.S. President Joe Biden virtually. Ahead of the talks, the White House tried to set the tone. Biden had a clear mission nudge India to take a stronger position against Russia. On that note, I want to welcome uh, India's humanitarian support for the people of Ukraine who are suffering a horrific assault, including a tragic shelling in a train station last week that killed dozens of innocent children and women and uh, civilians attempting to flee the violence. But India is not budging from its position. New Delhi wants stronger ties with Washington but on its own terms. Today's conversation is happening in such a time when the situation has become very concerned in Ukraine. A few years ago, there were 20,000 people who were in Ukraine. And there were more than 20,000 people who were in Ukraine. After a long time, we were able to get them वहां से सकुशल निकाले में सफल हुए हालांकि एक छात्र ने अपना जीवन खो दिया इंडिया हैज इट्स ओन कंसर्न्स ओवर द वॉर इन यूक्रेन एंड द वेस्टर्न रिस्पांस चीफ अमंग देम आर द सोरिंग कमोडिटी प्राइसेस वर्ल्ड फूड प्राइसेस हिट एन ऑल टाइम हाई इन मार्च इट वाज अ डायरेक्ट रिजल्ट ऑफ रशियस इनवेजन ऑफ यूक्रेन the other issue is protecting the Indo-Pacific. The war in Ukraine has distracted the United States. Before the invasion, countering China was the main foreign policy agenda of the Biden administration. It has been replaced with Russia. On the Indo-Pacific front, Washington is yet to identify and commit to specific goals. It is the need of the hour. The Chinese military is becoming more aggressive in the region. For eight days straight, the PLA has been sending its jets into Taiwan's airspace. India and the United States have an opening to look beyond Ukraine. Prime Minister Modi's engagement with Joe Biden precedes the 2 plus 2 dialogue. 
The virtual meeting set the tone for the conversation. The dialogue between the ministers could very well define the future trajectory of this partnership. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.